Welcome to DataViz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Kazi, developer advocate for Data Studio. In this episode for DataViz Dev Talk, you will learn how authentication flow works for community connectors and how you can authorize your users to use external services. Let's get started. When a user tries to use a connector for the first time, Data Studio triggers the connector authorization flow. Connector authorization is a two-step process. First, the Google OAuth2 flow is triggered to allow Data Studio to execute the connector. This flow includes all the necessary scopes required by the connector. We talked about the OAuth scopes in our episode about manifests. In the first step, the user will review the scopes and complete the authorization process. In the second step, Data Studio triggers additional auth flow if the connector needs to reach any external service. This second step is initiated by Data Studio by making the get auth type call to the connector. At this point, there are several use cases when you will not need any additional credentials from the user. The first use case is if you're not connecting to any external service. For example, if you're connecting to the Google Fit API, the OAuth scope will be a part of the Google OAuth2 flow and no further authorization is required. The second use case is if you're connecting to an external service that does not require the user to authenticate. For example, if you're fetching data from the NPM download count public API, it does not require any kind of authentication. And the last use case is if you're accessing external services using a private secret, like um, a service account credential or a token. For example, the Stack Overflow API requires an API key. You can generate your own API key, store it in your script properties, and use the stored API key every API call you make. In these use cases, you will return the auth type none for the get auth type response. Data Studio will then proceed with the connector configuration. However, if you require users' credentials to authenticate to external services, you should return the auth type required by your specific external service. Your options for authentication include API key, username and password, username and token, and OAuth2. For a complete list of authentication types, check out the reference link for the get auth type in the description below. If the service you're connecting to requires the user to provide their credentials via an OAuth2 process, you should use the OAuth2 for App Scripts library. This will make the implementation a lot easier. The library will also be useful if you're using service accounts with an OAuth2 based service. In this type of authentication, Data Studio will open a new window and redirect the user to the service provider's login screen. Once the user logs in and provides the necessary permissions to the connector, the user will be able to resume the connector configuration in Data Studio. If you're using the OAuth2 for App Script library in your connector code, you'll be able to access the user token through the library. An advanced tip. If your connector is connecting to your own service, you have the flexibility to set up any kind of custom authentication and authorization flow at your end using the OAuth2 method. If your connector requires a different authentication than OAuth2, like API key or username and password, Data Studio will render the required interface so the user can provide the credentials in Data Studio. You should use the AppScript property service and store these credentials in the user property store and fetch them when required. You'll need to write a few additional functions in your code if you're using any auth type other than none. These functions will allow Data Studio to verify the credentials and reset them when required. Details about these functions, how to implement them, along with code examples are available in the authentication guide linked in the description below. To learn more, Check out the links in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the GCP channel for more great content on Data Studio. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep building awesome dashboards.